I came out to make some video the other day and on my driveway here I found a couple of snakes. One was eating the other one. And what happened at the end was most surprising and quite dramatic. Living in rural northern Thailand it's not uncommon to see snakes and other animals. We've got dogs and a bird. Sometimes we see cows or buffalo wandering onto our property trying to eat my vegetables. Occasionally there's even a brave cat that will venture into our yard. But they don't stay long on account of our dogs. But I think this is probably the first time that I've seen two snakes at the same time. Certainly this is the first time that I've seen one snake eating another one. Initially I wasn't quite sure what was going on, but it didn't take me very long to figure it out. The snake doing the eating apparently is a sunbeam snake and it's eating a painted bronze back. The curious thing to me was that the sunbeam snake appeared to be only about half the length of the bronze back. The bronze back may have been considerably longer but I couldn't really tell because some of it had been eaten already. The bronze back was definitely a thinner snake, a skinnier snake than the sunbeam snake, but definitely a lot longer. But this didn't stop the shorter, thicker sunbeam snake continuing to devour its prey. And as you can see, it's working really hard to suck it in, to pull it into itself and to secure it so it can't get away. As I was recording I was trying to see whether the bronzeback snake was still actually alive. I wasn't sure, but then at times I did actually see it moving. Looking at it sometimes I wasn't sure whether the sunbeam snake was moving or if it was the bronze back that was moving inside it and causing the sunbeam to move. I have edited the video, you can see that there are cuts in it. This is because at times there was little or no movement. And the whole lunch meal took about an hour or so. So I've cut out the parts where there wasn't any movement and at other times I've actually sped the video up a bit too. As you can see here, there was still some real movement in the painted bronzeback snake. I can't imagine that it really had much hope of escaping, but it certainly was trying. I was using my action camera to record this. It's an Insta360 GO 3. The lens on this little camera is really wide angle, so I needed to get close to the action to be able to capture it well enough and big enough in the frame. I already had the camera mounted on a small tripod, so I just placed it down as close as I could safely to the snakes. And in some parts of the video I've actually zoomed in on the video so that you can see more clearly what was happening. As I said, I think it took about an hour overall for the sunbeam snake to devour its prey. So I was getting a little bit concerned about my camera battery dying on me before lunch was over. So when there was no action happening I was turning the camera off and then turning it on again once I sensed that there was some more movement. 
and this was to try and help preserve the battery life because I didn't want my battery to die before the snake had finished its lunch. And as the sunbeam snake was busy eating, I was looking at it and wondering where on earth it was putting it all. But as less of the bronze back became visible, it was kind of evident where it was, that it was definitely all inside the sunbeam snake. Because you could see the corrugations in the sunbeam as the bronze back was being squished up inside it. And as the sunbeam snake continued to draw in the painted bronze back, it got really slow. There was some long periods where nothing much was happening as it was really struggling to digest its lunch, or maybe not even start to digest, but just to try and swallow it all. It was absolutely fascinating to watch it. It was a, quite a spectacle to see it happening. Seeing the sunbeam snake working hard and contorting and twisting trying to keep its lunch in. I was quite confident that these snakes were not a threat to me. I didn't know if they were poisonous or not, but obviously the bronze back was not going to be giving me any problems and the sunbeam was so busy in what it was doing that it wasn't really perturbed by my presence there. Or it didn't appear to be. And I thought, well, yeah, it's that full, it's not going to be moving fast anywhere, anytime soon, even after it's finished its lunch. Normally I'll treat every single snake that I see as dangerous because I'm never sure, I'm not an expert. I'm from New Zealand and we don't have snakes in New Zealand. I'd actually never seen a snake until I moved to Thailand when I was 37 years old. Out of caution, I just treat every snake as though it's dangerous, as though it's poisonous, because I can never really be sure. But like I said, I didn't think either of these snakes was going to be posing me any threat, whether they were poisonous or not. And as you can see here, nor did our pigeon. She was sitting down pretty close to us. She quite often comes and hangs out when I'm doing video. If you've watched any of our other videos, you might have seen her sitting on my shoulder or helping me with the garden. She loves to be close to us. And she certainly didn't seem to be taking any notice of the snake or to show any concern with it whatsoever. So it looks like it's nearly finished now. There's just the very tip of its tail hanging out of the sunbeam snake's mouth. And now it's starting to make a bit of a move. I'm amazed that the bird was so chill about being this close to a snake. It was within a metre of it and it just didn't appear to be concerned at all. But the sunbeam snake's got a belly full of bronze back and it's not going anywhere quickly. It's just heading up the driveway. I was a bit concerned about where it was going, which direction it was heading. It could have gone towards the house, but we've got a vacant section next door to us, which is probably where they came from. And they were probably heading back there. And it did head over that way, so I turned the camera off and was about to go inside, and I heard some noise and looked down, and here it was. The sunbeam was regurgitating its lunch. It was pushing the bronze back out of itself. And it took off up the driveway and then into the vacant section next to us. That was an unexpected good bit of drama to video in my day. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.